What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back with another channel message. I hope everyone is doing okay at this time and staying safe, okay? Before I get started, I wanted to show you all the spiritual workbook I created. It's called I Be Knowing. Understand your intuition and use it effectively, okay? Um, you can write in this workbook, okay? It has different sections. We go over different topics like what is intuition. You're able to free write in the book about experiences that you've had and how you can work through them, how you may have worked through them then and how you can work through similar experiences in the future. We talk about premonition. We talk about the spirit of discernment. I mean, it's just different topics that we go over so that you're able to understand your intuition and use it effectively, okay? So um, I just decided to create this because I get a lot of questions about, you know, how do I know what my intuition is trying to tell me? 111 on the phone. This is a way for you to understand what God is trying to tell you and understand what steps you should take in listening and understanding what you're hearing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, okay? So um, I'm, I've had a couple of people who tested it out for me and they really have expressed that it does help them. It helps them figure out who and what to listen to and it also helps them realize that they need to listen to themselves, okay? So, um, yeah, we go over spirit, we go over ego, we go over a number of things. I don't want to give too much away, but um, you can use your dry erase marker or your Sharpie and just free write, free write. Free writing is very important to me as a writer and a teacher. It allows you to be able to fully express whatever comes out. And this is how you can release in order to receive and know what to accept in the future, okay? So the link will be down below for you to purchase one of these workbooks. I do appreciate your business in advance. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for everything that you do for my channel. And we're gonna go ahead and get started, y'all. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. All right, now that we have that out of the way, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with the download that I received. Um, there is a feminine who has been blocking your love life for quite some time. Um, she has done some type of spell work on you where basically men would not commit to you, okay? It started with a, with a masculine in particular who she did not want you to deal with, and it did work. And she just kept going with it to where she didn't want you to be with anybody. But what's then happened is that she didn't did it too much. And it's actually propelling you back around to this first masculine who she tried initially to keep you from. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download I received? What's going to happen here, Holy Spirit? I just saw the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, she did it too much. She was trying to block you so hard that she actually is drawing this King of Cups in towards you. with something weird like that. So let's see. Holy Spirit, clarify this download that I received. What's going on here in this particular situation, Holy Spirit? We have the King of Wands. This is the energy who she initially wanted you to stay away from, that she was trying to keep you away from, okay? And she was successful in doing that. I am picking that up, okay? This action she took with this Magician card to <clears throat> collaborate with this King of Wands. And if nothing else, at least keep him where he was breadcrumbing you. This man definitely never treated you as the only one or the primary woman that he was dealing with, okay? And the reason why that is, I'm telling you, is because there's a woman somewhere <clears throat> that did not want you to deal with this man. 
And I'm not even really picking up that it's somebody that he was dating, y'all. 222 on the phone. We have the Nine of Cups. This woman was very satisfied in watching this man have you in the Six of Pentacles. Okay? She did not want him to offer you love, to give you a solid love commitment. So you eventually moved on. Okay? You let it go. This is what she wanted you to do. <clears throat> I can't make it up. She wanted you to go pursue, pursue someone else somewhere else. Go hop on another D, okay? However, she got it in her mind that she was going to make every other D that you met act like a king of swords towards you. Keep you in the dark. Not ever fully express how they feel for you, okay? Just keep you in a lot of confused, mixed up energy when it came to men and that no one would ever fully commit to you. Yes, y'all may have a passionate start, you know, but it always ends up with the man cutting you down somehow. And this is because of this spell work, this illusion that she's placed over your life. <clears throat> I feel like you were aware that someone was trying to cause some form of conflict in your love life and keep you in the five of cups. Because see, honey, you know you an ace of pentacles, okay? Fuck what they talking about. You know anybody that dates you, the will of fortune gonna be in their favor, okay? You got the, the background to prove it, okay? <clears throat> you got the resume that shows that anybody that has dated you in the past, that it actually elevated their life. So you can't understand why these men that you've been meeting and dating are acting like you ain't an ace of pentacles out here in these streets, that you aren't good luck, that you can't turn the will of fortune in their favor. They be treating you like you a whole five of pentacles when they should be making you a love offer. Okay, so you're, you know something ain't right. You've been aware of that something wasn't right, but you just didn't know what it was. Now you know, this woman, 444 on the phone, has been sowing seeds <clears throat> to keep you in this dark, cryptic cycle when it comes to men. We have the two of swords. She's made this decision to do this, and I really feel like it's partly because, it's mainly because of this masculine energy from the very beginning who she didn't want you to be with. But I do feel like this particular energy cared for you, okay? And he cared for this woman too. This is her right here. But y'all, it ain't, I'm picking up, it's a mama. That's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up that this man's mama was doing spell work to stop him from dating you. And then she took it even further with this eight of, wand, eight of wands and did more spell work to stop you from having a victory with any man. But it's it's what it's doing. See, God is, God is funny, okay? <laughs> God is a trip now. God let this shit happen because I do believe this man is your divine counterpart. He didn't hop out here as the emperor now. So God don't want you to be with nobody else. So he let her do that little kitchen magic to keep you away from other men and out of their bed because he's preserving you for this emperor, this king of wands, okay? I'm getting that. Yeah, you may have experienced some heartbreak dealing with the, trying to, trying to deal with these king of swords energies, energies, but it's because this queen of cups did something to try to hex your love life, okay? But what she didn't fucked up and did is allowed you to gravitate right back around to this king of wands who is now an emperor who also has gotten his heart broke in some type of third party situation that he got into because his mama was doing spell work to manipulate his love life then put him into the arms of somebody karmic okay but see he's open and ready to be able to accept love <clears throat> he's in a position now where you and him can be together, okay? 
I'm getting that here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we have the fool. This man is ready to take a risk towards you. <clears throat> it's giving that he's been thinking about you a lot. Child, my throat acting up, child. Hold on. He's been thinking about you a lot. I see this five of swords here. One second, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to drink some water. But with this five of swords here, <clears throat> it's crazy how my throat trying to add up, child. This man has been watching you. He's been feeling some type of way because I think he's trying to decide if you, when you went off away from him, if you are connected to somebody by now, okay? <clears throat> I feel like some time has passed since you have actually even physically interacted with this man. But he has never lost track of you. He wants to win at all costs with you. And he, he is giving me this little jealous streak. Like, he thinks that you may be dating someone else. Yep, we have the Three of Cups. This man thinks that you may be celebrating with another man right now. So he even more livid <clears throat> about not having access to you. <clears throat> he wants to rush in, y'all. Please excuse my throat. I'm trying to tell you the energy it's this mama, all this fucking spell work she was fucking doing to try to cause a fucking tower. And all she done did is made her man, oh, I said her man, child. Because see, this mama think this damn emperor is her man. Okay? That's what it is. She think this her nigga. Excuse my language, but that's what the hell I'm getting. Like, she feel like <clears throat> she has to dictate who he is with. She has to approve his love choices. But he done made up his mind about this feminine here, okay? He done made his mind up about you, child. Well, mm, I think that's got mama hurt, child, because... That deal she made with the devil, it's not going to stop you from being a queen of pentacles. That plotting and scheming that she did, that shit ain't went nowhere. It 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 put you right, boomerang your ass right back into this man's arms. You coming out as a queen of coins, a queen of pentacles now. This woman is upset that her plotting and scheming and her spiritual manipulation with this poppus energy, the poppus card... <clears throat> at a high vibration as a student, someone who's trying to learn different methods and theories so that they can accomplish something positive. But at a low vibration, it's somebody who dabbles in methods and theories and rituals, i.e. spell work and dark magic to get the results that they want, okay? So this is what she has been doing. All that plotting and scheming, though, that shit reverted your ass right back around to this masculine and he's an emperor now honey he didn't evolved since you dealt with him <clears throat> we had the hangman i think he realized something about the choices that he was making that was keeping him stuck that maybe we got the ace of cups that somebody was keeping him from getting to who he truly loved and wanted to be with and I know he realizes his mama because in addition to her talking shit, honey, oh, she definitely did some shit in the dark to cut this connection. But she let him know on the 3D as well that she did not approve of you, okay? She did that. So he knows that his mama don't like you and didn't want you to be with him, but he don't care about that anymore. This man is in his Knight of Wands energy when it comes to you. He's ready to take a risk and come in your direction. Okay, we got the Chariot and the Knight of Wands out here now. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups. But again, there are some allusions to your life, your lifestyle. He don't, he can't tell if you're dealing with someone or not. And I, that is a concern of him, but he's willing to still try to balance things between the two of y'all. He's willing to take a chance and come forward to you 
to see what will happen. He feels like it's worth it because guess what, poo poo? You the Empress, okay? 1221 on the phone. So that's where he at, y'all. That's what he's going to do. I ain't no wanna do. This is what he's going to do. And I'm telling you, he's he's being propelled for it because the spell work has reverted. It's like he he cares for you more than ever. We have the Queen of Wands. He always knew you were his match. You were his match from the very beginning. And you still his match now. So he's about to put an end to this distance between the two of y'all. He's about to make things right. So you can thank his mama. <laughs> okay? Because whatever she did, it took you through what you needed to be to become this empress and it took him through whatever he needed to be and it took him through whatever he needed to go through to become this emperor okay she bossed both of y'all up with this damn spell work by accident any final messages holy spirit <clears throat> let's make sure is there anything else you want us to know we have the ten of cups there go y'all future 1331 on the phone so i'm really gonna drop the mic I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and clarification you were looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Also, don't forget to hit that link and go ahead and order your spiritual workbook. Dang, if that ain't spiritual confirmation, y'all heard that thunder. Get your workbook, y'all. The Holy Spirit is in agreement, okay? I'm telling y'all, it will work wonders and it will definitely help you with your decision-making and understanding your intuition so that you can use it effectively. All right, take care, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.